BAC Alakauta Ore had recently threatened to drag Governor Samuel Trump to the International Criminal Court of Justice for allegedly seizing its cattle and arresting its members. The 25,000 cattle seized and 400 headsmen arrested were said to have been without just cause. But these allegations have drawn the air of the Benue Youth. The Benue Youth Forum believes the statement released by the Miese Ala Kautaore should be taken as a threat against the Benue people. We do not expect the Miese Ala Kautaore to pretend not to be aware that the open grazing prohibition and rancher establishment law of the state is not targeted at any group or tribe, but seek to prevent incessant clashes between farmers and herders. The BYF also call on security agencies to rise up to the occasion as threats such as these ones made by Miyate Ala always come with renewed momentum from the killer headsmen. The youths are not prepared to back down in the face of such threats and they urge the Benue people to shun political differences and back Governor Samuel Trump in defending Benue state. It is the end of the road for these suspected armed robbery syndicates and the mastermind of kidnapping known for terrorizing members of the public in Oyop town and robbing people of their valuables. The suspected armed robbers met their Waterloo after robbing a point of sale operator popularly known as POS in Oyop town. They had to a huge amount of money and other valuables. The suspects upon interrogation also confessed to their crimes including robbing of travelers of their belongings along Oyoi Shenyi Road. So members of a notorious armed robbery syndicate who have been terrorizing members of the public in Oyo town invaded the shop of one Abbas Taiwo mill where he operates mobile banking services and other business activities. The notorious hoodlums who were armed to the teeth attacked Abbas Taiwo, dispossessing him of huge proceeds from his point of sale machine. Ten different mobile phones belonging to his customers and other valuable items at gunpoint. We are, we are, not, we are closed for the day, so the, person, you know, the next thing the person said, uh, the person do is that he, uh, he, uh, he pointed a gun at me. So I was like, ah, what is this? So I, I shift for the person. So two of them, they, they, there were two that they comforted us. So they packed the container, so they, they are running. We are shouting, uh, tip, 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 tip. The suspect was arrested for writing to a private university in Oyo town and threatening to abduct three of its students if the management fails to pay up a sum of 10 million naira. The police say he had also extended a similar strategy to a branch of a new generation bank in the same town. The contribution of Nigerians in diaspora to national development is increasingly reflecting beyond just financial returns. Many of the Nigerians living outside the shores of the country now return to help on the skills of others and this becomes a brain game for Nigeria. This exactly is what Professor Hawa Ibrahim has embarked on. She has returned with five students from one of the schools she lectures, the University of Rome, to expose pupils of Waru LEA Primary School to STEAM, that is science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics, under her Peace Institute initiative. And we are here, we don't care whose child you are, if you have it, we want to give you, we want to inspire, we want them to believe in themselves, we want them to know they can be anything God want them to, God have created them to be. And we also open up opportunity for scholarship uh, for students that are very good. Uh, if the parents allow us, we will allow them to have opportunity outside the country. She says this is important as education is a crucial tool against violence and will help the children from being a target of recruitment by bandits and terror groups. Exactly, the air will make So these hands-on practical learning is well appreciated by government officials. It's a component of durable solution when children become displaced, it affects their learning. So one of our core you know, areas around our, our strategic um, roadmap is to increase access to learning and it's a whole of society approach.